Hello, hello, my friends. Good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome. How is everybody doing today? Hmm. Blue, congrats on being first and jarred with the quick daily convo. Good morning to the both of you. Omina, hello and good afternoon. Good morning, Lutes and Guildies. I hope everyone's having a better morning than I am. My neck is worse than it's been. Oh, no. <clears throat> Just really tight. Blue, good morning, Coleman. Good morning, Lady Iron. Hope you've been doing well. Good morning, Spooky. Omina Blue, Jardicus, my Lady Iron. Coleman. <laughs> A lot better. Thank you for asking. Good to hear. Keep healing up. Keep, keep healing up. Crystal, good morning. Here, but also not since I have an 8.30 a.m. meeting. That is jail. That's jail. High Rollers Unite. Hope all is well this morning. Hope the same. Good morning, Peachy. Got a same start today. Very pissed off. Oh, no. I don't like to hear that. Some of that music, though. Spooky is a gem. So are you, Coleman. Ams, good morning. Always around to listen to my random rant. <laughs> Sims, Coleman, T16. <laughs> You're excited? Oh, tom for tomorrow. Okay. I had a dream I was alive during the Black Plague. Had to try to avoid the fleas while working in a gross meat seller shop. My goodness, what a dream. What a dream. I like your ideas, cool man. Can I have some of those edibles you took before bed? <laughs> I feel like I roll into your DM saying the most random stuff most of the time. My friend Silver spent nearly all of her stream last night fighting through hate raids. All of us in the Silver Glades spent the whole night rallying around her and defending the Silver Glades. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Crystal. Uh, I, you know, I, I know, I don't really understand the hate raids, you know? I, I don't, I don't really know exactly what somebody hopes to accomplish. You know what I mean? That's friendship, baby. Studying for biology test? Haven't taken bio in 18 years. This is tough. Oh, goodness. What kind of biology are we talking about? Hugs everyone with consent. You have my consent, Omina. Really tight. I can just barely move it without pain. Can't even uh, find a comfortable position to sit or lay back or even laying down. Really? So it's not just like on one side? They were constant for nearly six hours. Wow. Jeez Louise. College level biology? Ooh. Ooh. So is it like bio, bio 101 type thing? Or are we talking about... Like, I didn't know if it was, uh, you know, what's what specific part of biology. But um, but if it's like 101, then it'd be sort of just generalized. Dang. It was pretty, uh, pretty hard there. Yeah, sorry it's not feeling very well, Blue. Uh, did you say you did have a massage gun or you don't? And then, um, yeah, the other thing I, I would say is maybe like, uh, if you have, if you have a reputable chiropractor nearby, um, sometimes it depends. I mean, it depends on the chiropractor, but sometimes chiropractors can be pretty affordable. I believe in you can do this. Like how babies are made. They learn that in middle school. Ain't that the truth? Mixture of a few levels of bio because I need to earn a teaching, a new teaching license. So I take a test and earn the license. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Chiropractor could be good. Only thing I can think of is that it's from how I sit when I'm working on leather. That could be. That could be. Uh, do you, if you tuck your chin down or something, but. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, if there's any way you can move it where you find some, like, discomfort but not pain. If you can, I would continue to move it because uh, hopefully it'll start loosening up like that, you know. Um, just got to keep keep trying to get some movement in there. But if it's painful, obviously, then you don't want to do that. So, 
Um, so yeah, I don't know, but a chiropractor could be decent. I have a massage gun and a chiropractor, but I can't really afford him at the moment. Blue's boyfriend needs to rub it. <laughs> I haven't tried ice yet. Might try that later. Yeah, usually though, if, if it's tight and stiff, you want the opposite. Usually you want heat. Thanking us for not leaving. I told her we love her and the Silver Glades are home. We defend it, defend it and defend her. Silver Glades will bow to nobody ever. True. Good morning, Clumsy. How are you doing today? Studies say that sometimes cold-ish help more than warm if it's muscle-related. Hmm. He just went to work. Tell him to quit. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Tell him to quit. It's a new thing to put cold instead of warm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'll be honest. Like, I personally have not found much luck with um, temperature therapy. But I know some people swear by it. Um, the only therapy that I can really swear by is movement. So uh, things like, like I said, if you can find a place in which you can move with some discomfort, but not pain, right? There's a difference. There's a line. If you can move with some discomfort, you're on the road to healing. Um, if you're moving with pain, you're possibly causing more damage, right? It's kind of a weird fine line but the body I, I've in in my experience I found that the body is very good at healing itself we just have to kind of keep things moving so but I've tried I mean I've tried various things like I've tried contrast therapy um, on my Achilles when I was having those pains real bad um, thankfully they're lesser than they used to be back then but I used to take my feet and like plunge them in ice and then I would plunge them in warm water and then just go back and forth until you know um, I don't know. It had been however much time or whatever. Um, some people swear by contrast therapy. It didn't seem to do the job for me. I did it for kind of a long time. So I feel like I gave it a fair shot. Um, but yeah. I tried heat last week when it wasn't that bad and it didn't help much. Is that Mr. Peachy up with a chiropractor as a birthday present? He's always talked about wanting to go, but never had. Now he goes every two weeks. When was his birthday, Peachy? I've been seeing a chiropractor every two weeks myself. Um, he he is a chiropractor, but I'm mainly seeing him for um, like active release therapy. So it's a it's like a fascial like it, not fascist. I should be clear on that. But basically, uh, it's a myofascial type of stretch. So they dig in really hard um, and uh, on the muscle, and then they do a stretch at the same time. And it is not. The most comfortable thing, but it does make me feel better. Depends on the type of injury for temp therapy. If there's swelling, heat can make it worse. Yeah, exactly. PT will always hear uh, hear heat first to loosen, then do the manipulation and end with cold. Yeah, the muscles definitely like to be warm in order to move. That much is that much is 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 uh I think widely accepted. First, her questionable taste in Twilight memes. <laughs> It's crazy how much movement helps with healing, especially when all you want to do is be ready. Uh, yeah, sit, sit, just be really still to avoid pain. Exactly. Yeah, it is. And it's it's frustrating because, yeah, you then you have to kind of grit your teeth through a little discomfort and whatnot. But it does. I mean, it makes a big difference. Find that line between discomfort and pain has been such a hard road. Also realizing that my body reacts 12, 24 hours later to nerve related things. Dang. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about bumping the mic there. Yours is one of the only thing, only channels I hang out in where I don't remember having that experience, but make no mistake, I would stand by you and this community just the same. I appreciate that, Crystal. I've never had a hate raid necessarily. I've ha I have had bot raids before, um, but specifically hate raids, I feel pretty fortunate I haven't had. Uh, of course, you know, the first time for everything, so try to be um, as ready as I can. His birthday's in early December. Gotcha. So it's been a couple months now, then. It's been going regularly. My problem, I can't move it very far in any direction uh, without severe pain. I might try making an appointment with my back specialist. The whole spine is included in that, right? <laughs> Maybe? That clarification. I would pay a bone doctor to pull my head off like I'm a Lego minifig. <laughs> Hi, I'm right here. I qualify right. I did surgery on Glenn. 
Red, hello. How are you doing? 14 year old daughter went to Cairo for the first time two weeks ago. Went last Saturday, and there's more. Uh, one more time, and then her neck hopefully is better. That'll be good. We didn't do the daily combo. Good, good call out there. Good call out there, Peachy. Uh, we did get yeah. Jard redeemed it, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, oh, here we go. This one's very open ended. I like it. What superhuman power would you choose? What superhuman power would you choose? Um, I mean, I feel like I got to go with flight, you know? Or, yeah, teleportation would, would also uh, be in that. <laughs> Same brain, yeah. Flight or, ooh, shape-shifting. That's an interesting one. Can I ask you, Clumsy, what kind of, what kind of shape-shifting would you do? Honestly, if I lived in New York City, I would just, I would choose web slinging. Because, uh, but you know, where I live, <laughs> there's nothing really tall enough to web sling from. So, web swing from. So, I won't be doing that. But, I gotta, I gotta think that would be pretty fun, you know? Um, alright. Post this in the daily convo. What superhuman power? Superhuman power would you choose? Posted. I'd shapeshift into a dog. <laughs> I'd make myself taller. That's it, really? Just taller? So, like, kind of like an Elastigirl type thing? I mean, would that be good enough? Just teleport where my friends are. You'd save so much time. Invisibility would be pretty cool for sure. Telekinesis so I can move things with my mind. Flying would be super fun, yeah. It would take longer than teleportation though. That's the only thing. Uh, but it could be more practical in some situations, possibly. My mom didn't either, so when I was 13, I got my neck to the point I wasn't able to move left or right. So I got physiotherapist for five times. Pretty sure my mom wasn't happy to pay that. Yeah, probably not. Generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, chiro, uh, chiropractors are more affordable than PT, typically. Like I said, it's not always the case. Uh, sometimes they kind of get lumped in together, but... Flying would also be cool. Depends on how fast you can go. Yeah, definitely. I'm thinking, like, Dragon Ball Z fast. That's kind of how I'm... How, that's what I'm... That's where my brain's at, at least, but... Basically, if I could just be Goku, that would be... That would be ideal. Uh, you know, because he can teleport and fly instant transmission and what all shapeshift into a dog though is pretty funny clarification question before i answer uh does it have to be a conventional known power something someone already has uh it could be a new idea i don't see why not parents are the worst sometimes right web swinging like what a spider spider man <laughs> like spider man but yeah i mean you'd need something to swing from and that's i don't i don't really have that Nidalicious, hello! Just because you can web sling doesn't mean you automatically get the strength, stamina, flexibility, or agility to do it across town. That's true, actually, and I was just thinking about that as well. I was like, okay. So if I could fly really fast, am I also, like, immune to all the cold temperatures up there in the atmosphere? Because I was thinking about that, too. I was like, well, maybe teleportation is the way to go, you know? I visit my bestie every single day. My friend in Buenos Aires. That's the whole Atlantic Ocean between us. Yeah, holy cow. That's a long way. Watched a video yesterday on chiropractors and their scam cult. Hashtag not all chiropractors. Oh, man. Some of it is, uh, I will be honest. Some of it is kind of uh, icky, I guess. Because they talk about, like, there are some out there that talk about cures for pretty much everything. Just by you know, twisting you one way or the other. And I don't think I really believe in that. Um, I, I like to, the type of chiropractors I like to visit are, they call themselves sports wellness chiropractors. So they look at how the, the skeletal system and the muscle system, like the muscular system, um, you know, intertwine. 
and they try to come up with like a uh, a comprehensive solution. So they're not just going to crack your back and be like, all right, well, there goes your cancer. You know, um, <clears throat> some of them out there do that. Hey, have a good walk. Good. Hi, puppy. She just shoved the door open with her nose very, very abruptly. Meeting time, Spooky. Have a good meeting. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll catch you on the other side. Niddle, everyone else I haven't said good morning to. Both of mine are the worst. I used to think my dad was the best, and I started living with him at 18. Dang. We got a little piano in here. To be honest, Scarlet Witch or Doctor Strange's powers would be really cool to have as well. Oh yeah, for sure. BRB nicotine, Omina. Take care of yourself, okay? Cut that out. Why would you not want to run at the speed of sound eventually faster than that with your McLutes power? <laughs> uh, it's still like, listen, running, running like very fast would be very cool, but um, it, it's not very practical, I guess. I don't know, maybe maybe if I'm like A-Train, I just I can do everything, even in my own home. I can run that fast, but I feel like I'd, I'd destroy the carpet, you know? I don't know, I'd destroy the floor. Dude was telling the guy that it could lower high blood pressure, raise low blood pressure along with fixing your sinuses. Yeah, it's, like I said, some of it is just Not good. Mr. Peachy's Cairo diagnosed him with almost having scoliosis, which he never knew he had. He pops ribs back into place. It's freaky and cool. I'm going to go with the ability to fix chemical imbalances in the brain to be able to, uh, to all, wait, while out all forms of social anxiety through the touch of hand. I need nothing for myself. I could do that and help all my friends feel very differently and better in their lives. I am happy. Almost like an empath type. Yeah. Like a super empath. Just in pain with my neck killing me. How are you? Jeez. Wipe. Okay. Wipe out all forms. I was trying to figure out what that one. Yeah. Mind control seems useful. I'll take that. Mind control or brain control? <laughs> oh, man. What is that movie called again? Dinner for Schmucks. I was like, gosh dang. I, I know I'd remember it, but. Here's your neck, Blue Star. I thought it was back. He can already run super fast, so why not uh, want a new power? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I cannot run at the speed of sound, though. Elevator's out of service for repair, and they're waiting for parts. It's been three days. We live on the ninth floor with two large dogs. Holy crap, for real? Three days? I hope it's not much longer. It's my neck. Trust me, I know all the stretches for the back. My back has always been bad. OMG, the title. <laughs> yeah. Running super fast with no adverse effects to the body or surrounding flooring. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. I have to go in for my neck, but I was waiting for uh, deductible to be paid. Dinner for shmups. Cannot run at the speed of sound. Not with that attitude, Luke. <laughs> you can do all that now. He just doesn't boast because there's uh, because heroes don't boast. Have scoliosis as well, just not bad enough for surgery. Hmm. So, are there, like, daily things that you have to do in order to try to make sure things don't get worse? Bone spur in my neck sometimes causes spasms. Oh, bone spurs are so, so, um, not cool. I'm like, I don't know what word I'm trying to use, but I'll just go with extremely, extremely not cool. Um, they are a menace. Oh, well, friends, um, as Am's alluded to, uh, I think Lazelle was going to show us her crevice or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so maybe we should get into Baldur's Gate 3 and find out what that's all about. That sound good? And I'll give Peachy a useless fact. Dr. Lich just has one of those things. Seems debilitating. A bone spur? Yeah. Uh, I... I met people when I was working in a, uh, like a running store, like a, basically a, it, it was a shoe store, but there wasn't just shoes, you know, 
uh, running gear and running enthusiast store. Um, I met several people with bone spurs uh, in like their heels and whatnot. Gross, gross, gross. And I don't mean they're gross. I just mean it does gross things to uh, to the body. I wouldn't wish on anybody. Lazel's Kravis, now, now, now. Supposed to be stretching every day and being a lot more active than I currently am. The depression just kicks in. I don't want to even move. I feel that for sure. Um, it definitely helps if the sun pokes out, you know. Shoes and drug. What? Not drugs, Peachy. <laughs> Come on. So I asked this before and then fell back asleep before I heard the answer. Did How did we find Lazel? Okay. I was like, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't answer that question. We fell back asleep. Um, this one's for Peachy real quick. Cats have four rows of whiskers. Cats have four rows of whiskers. Who knew? Uh, so Lazel, how did we find Lazel? <clears throat> let me, uh, we're about to, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here. So that we're not getting double audio for too long. All right. So Lazel. Um, we were in the Underdark, we, well, we were in Grimforge specifically. Um, I was about to take this elevator and it was like, hey, uh, if you do this, you'll be progressing the storyline and you won't be able to turn back. And I was like, okay, well, do I want to do it, chat? And some people were like, uh, you should go to the Mountain Pass first because you can always come back here and, and go on to Act 2, but if you leave now, you'll miss stuff in the Mountain Pass. Is it okay? So I go to the mountain pass, um, and I pull up, and there's this big dragon, and a bunch of Githyanki talking, and then all of a sudden I approach the Githyanki to ask them about, you know, about their dragon, if they wanted an uh, extended warranty and whatnot, and all of a sudden Lazelle walks up, and she's like, she's like, hey, let me handle this. And uh, she tells me this with the brain worm, like through our minds and everything. She's like, hey, let me handle this. And I'm like, all right, bet. So I let her talk, and uh, she basically, we find out that the Githyanki are like heretics, essentially, and they wanted her to do something that she says is not her mission. And uh, and so they fight, and Lazelle joins my side in the fight, but because she wasn't a member of my party, she was still at level one. They killed her the very first round. Um, I killed all of them, and then I used a scroll or reviver, and then I recruited her to my party. So that's how it happened. So, yeah. Goro, hello! I thought it was going to be an interesting fact. Uh, yeah, well, you know, there... It does say the totally awesome book of useless information, so it doesn't any at any point say that it's going to be interesting. But What else could runners need besides shoes? Steroids! The shoes and more. I was thinking more like apparel, um, you know, gear, uh, that sort of thing. Had a tornado warning yesterday. It was about 10 miles away. Really? I'm glad everything's okay, Ams. I'm trying to get as much sun as I can lately for sure. Hello there. Hello there, True Kelt. Not Lazel's crevice. I, I listen, I think that's what she said. She said, come back with me and I'll show you the crevice or something. The, my crevice can heal brain worms? I don't know. I, I I wasn't really paying attention. I was just kind of... I mean, she's cute, you know? We forgot about Lazel being there uh, because she's dead in so many of my playthroughs. We had a few tornadoes touch down last summer, pretty close to us. Had to wake the kids and get them in the basement. Still have fence damage from it. Hope everyone affected is okay. I hope so. We got some storms rolling in today, but as far as I know, they're just thunderstorms. That said, I might lose power. Um, so that can happen. So many of my friends, Steph included, live with social anxiety. Can't relate to how it feels because I'm an outgoing and talkative individual. I don't get nervous meeting people, but when I look into Steph's eyes and see tears because she is upset from the idea of being nervous to meet people, her anxiety flares and she doesn't mentally feel right and just wants me to hug her. I would literally give or do anything to have all my friends never feel that. Definitely. Actually, weakened just as it hit us, so we had a ton of rain and flooding. We are good. As a weather nerd, I saw the radar and actually freaked. I do not look I do not like looking at the radar and seeing seeing that sort of thing. Modern Merlin! Hello. Cheers, and thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I 
Uh, let's bring you guys in here so you can see. You can uh, assess the situation here. Running shirts? Just run shirtless. Cues up loot shirtless video. Okay, PG. All right. Sorry for making you repeat that, but I'm glad to be caught up. Now you know. Now you know. I just remembered I forgot to take a pic of my kids before they got on the bus. They're dressed as a giraffe and Pikachu today for school. Wait, is there an event? Or are they just like uh, dressing as giraffes and Pikachus? Speaking of brainworms, I caught ringworm at the gym and it's really poorly named. Wait, actually? Are you okay? Let me get my projector. Hang on. I'll try to check you out. Love this game. All right. Appreciate that, my friend. Dress up day. They would probably dress up like that each day. Okay, so they get to... So it's basically just like any sort of costume they want to wear. Is that how that works? <laughs> is that how that works? All right. What was I... What is this? Oh, this is the Zentrum hideout. That's what it was. Or Zentrum base or Zentrum uh, zaddy uh, whatever. Uh, we killed a lot of people, though, because they... Uh, well, what did they really do wrong? I guess there was one guy, the guy that we made a deal with, they sort of like, they tied him to a chair, which did I ever let him go? Uh, did I ever let that dude go? He was in the chair, like right over here. I should probably check before I go any further. Gets the water to quench all the thirst that's about to happen. Let me get my projector. Gosh, it took me a second to realize what you meant there. Go over here real quick. It looks like the chair is empty, but I'm just trying to make sure he's not going to like load in later. Oh, nope. He's still there. Okay. And so is Oscar uh, Feveris. Go back down here. I'm glad I went back here. Oh, I forgot to start with the recording though. Second. All right, so real quick, we're going to go back uh, since we finished that fight. We're going back, and we got to find out what uh, Rugen's going to say and maybe what Oscar might say, too. Need to find a way forward. No more. No more. Free him, finish him off, leave. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> uh, we also love checking loot out. Stop it. The theme, if you could be anyone or anything, what would you be? Oh, nice. Okay. One one of your children would be a giraffe. I like that. <laughs> the Coro the Coro squirt bottle. It's just a itchy rash caused by a fungus. Mine's about the size of a penny and just above my wrist, but it sounds like it's a parasite. Yeah. But from the gym, that's gross. Well, it's a uh yeah, it's a grappling gym. Yeah. Any word on crossplay for this? I keep hearing it's on the table, so I keep trying to keep my ears open. I I don't I'm not sure, Crystal. Uh I guess I'll free him. You beautiful bastard. I am pretty beautiful. My luck had finally run out. I mean, I don't know my parents. I probably am a bastard too. All right, uh, and let's talk to Oscar. Seems like a good moment to talk. Wait, wait! I'm just a prisoner. Spare me, and there'll be coin. I swear it. I love how he crosses the uh, crosses his arms here. Makes him look much more menacing than he typically is. Annie, hello. Good morning, Lutz and Chat, and of course, Ams. How are you doing today, Annie? Hi, Annie. Love you. <laughs> how are you feeling today? You're having a good day. Boyne, you have my attention. I'm going to ask who he is. I'm an artist. These faithless bastards were trying to ransom me back to my patron. Man, lots of bastards of around here. Great means and great generosity to those who serve her well. Heroes who rescue her prize painter, for example. Oscar Fevras, at your service. Soldier came, come hang out and feel love. Of course. 
And I am Spankless Bertson. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Your betrothed? Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. Wait, she's not down here, is she? Uh-oh. Uh, I'm not allowed to eat, not even at home because Twit is pro-fungal. Thought I'd ask, have some friends that play on PC and we all want to play together. Yeah, I'm, I, I would say, I mean, I hope it, it comes soon here, Crystal, but I'm, I'm truly not sure. Okay, um, week, have another treatment tomorrow. It's built up on my system, so a lot, just hanging in, hanging in there. For Annie, excuse me, for Annie, Annie! You get the lucky boob squeeze here. We'll use both hands. So this is for you, Annie. Hopefully the treatment goes well. I hope that you, uh, I hope that you was saying thank you. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's our pleasure, for real. I hope that you get the, uh, a good treatment tomorrow. I hope that it's, uh, it's not too rough on the system. And, uh, you're able to, to, to heal up real quick. All right, but we love you. We love you. Try to give you all the good vibes that we can. And good luck with the treatment. Especially with voice and Discord being such a seamless thing on Xbox. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, let's see. Something else? Okay, I think I'm I think I'm caught up. Squeeze those boobies. Love you guys too, and thank you, of course. Of course, Ain. It's the least we can do. Who is Lady Janet? A noble woman of passion, refinement, and as it turns out, quite ferocious temper. Okay. The latter I learned only after the engagement, when I told her I was in love with someone else. Okay. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. That's interesting. A truly horrifying... Okay, so wait a minute. Oscar's in love with a different woman. Um, He said his... He mentioned it as a falling out earlier. Uh, I would say, yeah, that's that's putting it lightly. A uh, truly horrifying dilemma. Indeed. Want to split the very soul. But I do not dwell on it any longer, lest I weep. I'm gonna weep. I don't blame you. And we have your reward to consider. Once I have made my way safely back to the city. Okay. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some... Hmm. I could spare a little. 200? I've got 200 pretty easily. Really should be studying. When is the when did you say the test was, Ams? You graduated. You shouldn't have to study. Those kids should study. <laughs> Wish I had a neck brace right now, guys. No. I'm sorry it's not it's so uncomfortable, Blue. I have to get another license for a new AP classes next year. I can schedule whenever. Gotcha. Okay. He just left her. What a grouch. <laughs> Well, he was like, he's like, well, yeah, we're supposed to get married, but you should probably know I'm in love with somebody else. Oh, by the way, see ya. Got to go uh, visit, you know, the, the old cabin. Um, I think Carlac will probably appreciate me giving him coin, right? A hero to the hilt. She does. Seek me out in the city. Truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Also, I, I do really. Until Baldur's Gate, then. I do really like uh, in games. Ooh, I got a, uh, I got inspired by that too. I do really like it when uh, in games you take kind of a leap of faith on somebody and they reward it later on, multiple times fold. I like that. So that's what I'm banking on right here. Ooh, alchemist fire. Glad I decided to search these boxes. Eager for battle. So I think Lazel needs to be the one doing all this looting here. Ah, uh, there's an old floppy, uh, floppy hat. Has Lazel worn one of those? I don't think she has yet. We're gonna have to see how she looks in that. Everybody's been wearing them. They're very in right now. Uh, and is everybody? Oh no, Shadowheart's the one that should really be okay. Let's get on with it. Shadowheart should be picking up all this stuff, not Lazel. All right. Let's continue on then. Got to keep moving. 
had a goal to finish the uh, one section out of five. Meeting was uh, pointless but short. That's good. I'm glad it was short. Gosh, I hate pointless meetings, though. Made a lot of grunting climbing up that ladder. Uh, let's see. One section out of five and take a practice test today. And are you going to accomplish that goal? I don't start playing uh, Disney, Dreamlight Valley, and Supermarket Sim. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. How's this, Ams? Are you able to... Are you able to do the, the first section and take a practice test and then celebrate by playing some uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley? I like to do that. I, f I find myself to be pretty productive if I can uh, if I can give myself like a little reward at the end. But I don't know what your the rest of your day looks like, but if that's possible, that'd be could maybe be a good thing. Most meetings are pointless. It's true. Hello, beautiful Kirk. How are you doing today? If things in your life change and you ever get heavier into D&D &D and need another person for a campaign, hit me with an invite. Being involved in that with you is definitely bucket list worthy for me. I'd make time to make it happen. Well, Crystal, uh, I don't know when necessarily I'd be getting into more D&D, &D, but I definitely... Oh, bridge defect. Hang on a second. Did I go this way the first time? Or is there another way across? Oh, there is another way. Uh-oh. Is this bridge going to collapse? Bridge defect. Uh, kind of curious. Maybe. Oh, maybe it only. It's only if uh, if the thing blows up. Maybe that could be. Okay. Yeah. Seems like if it blows up, it's a problem. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this summer I'm gonna be playing my first ever D and D. Uh, looking at a one shot at Gen Con. So that's my goal. That is the goal. Only have one meeting today, so I really have the day off. That's nice. Very nice. I wrapped up... Uh, I got a good amount of work done yesterday, which was nice. I'm not sure what I'm going to necessarily have today. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more of a chill day, because I could actually use it. Some swords. Iron gate. Which is locked. Looks like it's pick worthy. Can't give up now. Can't keep me out. Okay. Well, there was a button over there too. Do I want to try this? Let's actually cancel out. How many thieves tools do I have? Fourteen total. Why did it only show two though when I did that? That was weird. Lots of time. I want to play Supermarket Sim. 15 in, uh, minute increments like Sean. Ooh. If you're super disciplined, you could do that. I I sometimes will start playing and I'm like... like it's well be done. I'm, ready. I'm like, uh, oh yeah, just 15 minutes. And then I look and I'm like, oh, I've got... Fi I can do another 15. It's not any problem. And the next thing you know, it's been an hour and a half. Uh, maybe I should push this button first before I do anything, any lock picking because maybe they'll unlock automatically. That's curious. Oh, there's a there's a hole back here or something. A burrow hole. No chance I'll fit through that. I haven't yet. I haven't yet um, been able to come across any of those I can actually use. Okay, we pushed a button. The gates are still locked. Okay, so... No time to rest. Try this. 20 hours into Rebirth, I'm finally doing main story. Really? I'm sure you're having a blast, though. Wonder what's past this. Distracted my, uh, by stream and Annie is here, and I'm loving it. Love D&D when I played. How, uh, how much D&D did you play? The frick is Gen Con? I only know Gen Cop. Okay, Peachy. That's not true. You only know um, somewhat ambiguous fonts. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Be wary. This place is trapped. Oh, yeah, it's trapped. Okay, let's disarm these chests. 
How many trap? Okay, trap disarm kits. Perfect. What happens if you fail a trap disarm? Nothing, right? You just I get a chance to do it again, but I have to use up a, a kit. And these are locked as well. Jeez, Louise, the security in this place. Played for about a year. Very cool. Can't see uh, what Legos the kiddos get. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Hello, hello. One shots are very fun. The fact that it's a one shot usually means a super high level of unpredictability because the future doesn't need prepared for about prepared for by the DM, which basically means anything can happen. That sounds cool. I'd uh, I'd be up for that for sure. All right. Hopefully these aren't too tough to. And they are kind of tough to lockpick. We got it though. We're on a a rolling spree here. Anything good? Oh, more thieves tools and two hundred eighty five gold. Am I actually going to be encumbered? Okay. Man, we're doing great on this here. Uh, Infernal iron, gold, scroll of expeditious retreat, and silver ingot. We're going to have uh, Shadowheart pick all that hmm. stuff up. A useless fact again. We've got, this time around... Uh, wow, I'm definitely gonna, I am definitely gonna butcher this one here. Uh, Arachibuterophobia? Arachibuterophobia. Arach That's what it looks like. I'll show you, I'll show you the, uh, the message here. Or the, the spelling of it. Is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth? Yeah, it does say, like, maybe it's beauty rephobia? Iraqi beauty rephobia? I don't know. Let me see if I can uh, share there. Right above that. There you go. A R A C H I B U T Y R O phobia. Fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. I tell you what, my dogs don't have that fear. <laughs> Rocket booty? I have to pray we get a good DM. We did two one shots at PAX. And one's amazing that it was terrible. It can be hit or miss. Wait, really? Even at PAX? I would think I would think that there would be a, a much better chance of it being good, you know. That's uh that's a little concerning. I guess the good news is like Gen Con is specific for a jug. Is this worth something? It is not worth very much. It looks cool. Um uh, I mean Gen Con is, you know, a a very well known board gaming convention so maybe that would maybe that would increase our chances of it being good tabletop and board gaming it would be interesting to find out like if you wanted to if you wanted to be a host of a one shot like what it would take oh there's a burrow hole over here oh that just would have probably brought me in without needing to do all the lock picking okay I'll grab that. Hey, Woodsy, good morning. You have that for fudge? Really? Looking ahead. Spanky is encumbered. Let's get rid of something here. Sort by weight. Oh, he's carrying a lot of heavy crossbows. Why is he doing that? Alright, there we go. Shadowheart is getting kind of full on carry away too. I really need to find another merchant and uh, one that I won't kill right away. That'd be great. Bet I can crack that open. What a word. Holy vocabulary. Yeah. I do know what it is. I'm just being a silly goose. I grew up in the city where Gen Con happens. Forgot we did this already. Oops. No, you're good. We can, we can do many per day. Oh, heck yeah. 
We've been uh we've been hitting the guidance real well here. Oh, there's stuff in here. Oh. Disorders of the nerves and mind, a treatise. Whoa, painting of smiling maiden. This is a good room. Wowzers. Okay, should we start with the chest? Abyss Reckon Beckoners? What? A very rare pair of gauntlets? The wearer's summoned creature has resistance to all damage except psychic damage. At the start of the summoned creature's turn, it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be driven mad. Demons will bite their masters, slaves, comrades, and on occasion themselves. They bite on principle and are functionally piranha with extra steps. What in the heck? Mad. And still with magical madness, will attack the nearest creature other than the spellcaster. Whoa, okay. Does does my find does my familiar count for this? Wisdom saving throw? My character is pretty wise, right? He's wise but not intelligent. Yeah. He's pretty wisdomous. At PAX, they were all just volunteers, I guess, from a D&D company. We just happened to get a DM that hadn't prepared fully. So we made choices. She had a lot of shuffling through the papers to give us the scenario. Long, awkward pauses. Oh, okay. Okay. By the way, Woodsy, my neck has gotten worse waiting for my back specials to open. I'm hoping he can treat next, too. Very true that a good DM or DM that, shall we at least say, uh, isn't good to make all the difference. Mind you, the only way to get experience and become a better player or DM is to jump in and do it. True. People will normally be understanding of a DM or player being new if it's made very clear they're trying to learn. Need coffee? Oh, acquire that coffee. Yeah. Any previous injuries? Never use these because I don't want to hurt my poor summon critters. The thing is, you can always summon them back, right? You watch D&D &D campaigns through Twitch. All right, let's, uh, I'm thinking I might, I'm thinking I might go ahead and wear them. Painting of a smiling maiden. Got a heart. Pick that up. That's got to be worth something, right? 55. Huh. Why does it have all these resistances and vulnerabilities? Also, why did it? Hang on a second. I'm not going to pick anything up just Who yet. Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Hey, buddy, you want coffee? Thunderstorms first? You having some thunderstorms? Do not DM for iron. She's judgy. Only slightly. <laughs> She's judgy. Uh, let's see. What else do we have around here? I'm going to leave that for just a bit. Brass locket. Wooden desk. This room seems... It seems like there's something else to this room. Maybe I'm just... Uh, full of it, but... Hmm. There's a mirror over here that, I don't know, maybe that's something. There's an oil lamp. Something seems odd. Just check for anything useful. Brimmed hat and a frumpy hat. Those are new. We're taking those. We're seeing a frumpy hat. Disorders of the nerves and minds, a treatise. I might read that. Before I do anything else. Notes from a soothsayer. I've had that book before. Okay, and there's a standing mirror. Alright, this is kind of interesting. Uh, Better stop gazing at myself before someone accuses me of vanity. I think we're past that point, Shadowheart. I've looked worse. But I've definitely looked better. Okay, should we maybe read this? First, can you tell I was typing two different things on different devices? Okay. <laughs> and try and study one more small section. All right, Ams, good luck. Trying to reduce Quaffy still. Sends hot cup of perfect coffee to Ursa with some delicious brekkies. Usually watch Acquisitions Inc. here in some podcasts like Critical Role. 
Grumpy Hat was my college nickname. Was it? How do you earn a name like that? I'm going to try to get a little TV, Ray. Hopefully a strong one because we don't have the room in the room or house but an actual table. A TV tray. There came to me a woman whom I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual tempers of her husband, whom I shall henceforth call B. Three months prior, he'd suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep that he bore the mark of chaos. Two months prior, he'd taken a calling himself by the name Saravak. One month ago, he'd speak of little else but the throne for which he is destined. I attended to be at the couple's farmhouse. He sat calmly at the table, an unknown book clenched to his chest. I detected no curse nor loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he, he raised the book high and exclaimed, The death they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the hearth, where it burned not in red or yellow flame, but pure black. It left but a single scrap reading, He foresaw his coming death and seated his essence across the land. B shivered inside, as if waking from nightmare. He had no memory of the book, nor the words he had spoken. Diagnosis? Unspecified neurotic enthrallment. Treatment? Herbal tincture of garlic and drace. Sipped thrice daily until exhaustion lifts. Interesting. This mirror, though. Okay, oil lamp? Sides of this brass lamp are shinier than the rest as if they've been repeatedly rubbed. I'm a little bit worried about this. Um, let's have Spanky do it. Blood? No. An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Ah, okay. Let's take it then. Okay. No magic on it. Alright, in that case, let's go ahead and take this painting. Oh, there's also a stuffed bear. Okay, took the painting of the Smiling Maiden. I wonder if there's anything else to do then. It seems like we might have done everything. No All right. Got to start laundry, put away dishes, make chicken salads. So I'll be lurking some, friends. Understandable, Woodsy. I should also do laundry today. I hope, uh, I hope it will be available to do today. Have I? I don't know if I've been down here yet. Do these paths converge? They do. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like there's a... There's a door down there, but I can't get down there. Otherwise, I will die. Uh, can I go through here? Seems like it would be a shortcut, but I don't know if it's going to let me. It will not let me. Okay. Hmm. What is the point to being down here then? Ooh, chicken salad. What all are you going to put in your chicken salad? I just had some chicken salad recently, but I go pretty, pretty minimal with what I put in it. Uh, it was good, actually. I made some, like, chicken salad wraps, and I was... Took them to, uh, uh the meat I was coaching in over the weekend... And it ended up being a very portable, uh, very portable meal, which is good. It allowed me to stay on top of uh, uh, my diet, so that when we uh, when we bought pizza for the kids afterwards, I didn't have to eat greasy pizza the night before uh, competition. Good. I have such little patience. Patience. I open every book and read zero of them. I skim, but don't really don't take in the info. I feel you on that. I sometimes, I, I definitely go through periods of being impatient, no doubt. Um, in some cases, I like to read just so I learn more of the lore, but uh, but that's not always the case. All right, let's steal this painting. There are two other paintings over here. I have to walk in acid to get to one. Can I? Oh, there's also the blank canvas to take too. I have a couple. There's a smoking pipe. Traps, please. Wait, what? What on earth? You climbed over there to get into this? Really? 
it's just hard sometimes to get them all to properly open things up. That's why I give up after a while. Cause like, like he climbed over the top of that. I guess that maybe they're avoiding acid, but then Shadowheart and all of them just walked in the acid eventually. Blank canvas. I think I'll ignore that. And yeah, okay. I think I'm I'm pretty satisfied with what we gained out of this Zentrum base. There is a Leer. I don't know if I've met anybody that's uh, musically inclined yet. Unless Gale is. Chicken salad, no chicken. If you put raisins in it, I will cry. I do not, no. So my, my chicken salad is very basic. Like, I will put, uh, like the one I had this past weekend at least. So I put, um... Oh, here's a Zentrum note. I did, I, I basically put some chicken in a crock pot uh, so that it would be easily shredded. And then from there, uh, I put pickles, um, grape, grape or cherry tomatoes, um, some balsamic, balsamic vinegar, um, and some other like spices. And then... Was that pretty much it? Or did I put peppers in it too? I might have put some like peppers in it. I can't remember. Uh, so like I said, it's sort of, it is a chicken salad, but it's not really, you know, I wouldn't bring it to like a, like a potluck or something, you know. Gabby, hello. Ludry Tuesday, everyone. Or, oh, laundry. I should also do laundry today. Stinky clothes has a super muddy mountain bike gear to be cleaned. Finally got the laptop fired up. Morning, Koro Spooky, a.k.a. Karuki. Woodsy, Kelt, Blue, Peachy, Omen, a Red, Nindle, Ams, Crystal. My beautiful Lady Iron and our illustrious leader, Lutz. <laughs> Good morning, Ursa. I can only imagine. I'm used to I'm used to sweaty hobby clothing. Son went to karate and daughter has been dancing ballet for almost six years. Son got to three... Three U-belt? U-belt? That'd be a good daily combo too. What kind of laundry you're dealing on? Are you dealing with on Ludry Tuesday? Get back to my watching my sugar levels diet. Potatoes, chimkin salad, chimkin and salad. How do you feel about cut up grapes? Because I had one that had some and it was delicious. I don't like putting fruit in chicken salad personally, but put craisins and walnuts in mine. Cranberries in my chicken salad, please. Pickles, I do. Yeah, I've got some spicy pickles I put in there. Uh, they're just the famous Dave's like spicy dill pickles. But yes, true Kelt craisins. About time, sorry. Perfect celebrity name, Karuki. Koro Spooky Iron. The explosives explosives are more volatile than a dragonborn's belch, and they cost more than most of you are worth. So stop messing with them. It took me half the day to attach the mines to the ceiling. And somebody took one down and lobbed it down the elevator shaft. If you're going to waste resources, Zerus would remind you that you are resources. She's not above throwing you down the shaft. And do you really want to risk attracting the attention of whatever might be at the bottom of that shaft? We're professionals. Act like it or I'll break your fingers. I'll go ahead and take that because some random uh, creepy merchant will pay me for it. All right. I think we're ready to get out of the Zentrum basement. Oh, no, don't shut the gate. We want to go through the gate. I'll make you my chicken salad. Pokemon name. <laughs> fast travel? Well, so I wanted to go see... I guess I could have fast traveled here, huh? Um, I wanted to see what was going to be on the other side of this. Because if you recall, this dude let me, like, buy... I was in the village, um, uh, Joaquin's Rest, I think it was called, or something. So this dude let me buy, and I'm kind of curious what's going to happen now if I come back out and I would have killed everybody. You know? Is he going to be pissed? Borat. Hello? 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 What to do with it, Steph Star Dog? Uh, how do you? Yik, Sebash. Shinkly. All right, buddy. How do you feel about me murdering everybody down there? Said you could pass, didn't I? Oh, you don't care. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, everybody's dead. Everybody is dead. 
Uh, oh, except the one guy who you deemed a traitor. I let him go. Anyway, have a good day. <laughs> See ya. Borat, Borat. Reminds me of Koroks and Breath of the Wild. It makes me giggle. Do they call me within two business days to make the appointment? Dang. That is, uh, that's going to feel like a long time. All right. So travel through the mountain pass or. Okay. Hmm. How do I, what do I do? Uh, uh, so I want to see the crash. This is the crash in act one. Can anybody tell me that? Can anybody riddle me that? No. Who's talking? Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? Wait, burying a weapon? It's a metaphor. Oh. I do not know your metaphor, but if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Is this a wait? Is it is it a metaphor or a euphemism? I don't know. I believe the crash is in Act One. Call it Prelude to Act Two. Okay, so if I so if I go over here and it says, "Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure about that? Are you sure you want to continue over here?" and I say yes, like I won't be I won't be messing up my journey into Act Two. Correct. I'm gonna do a full save here. Uh, save. This is definitely. Act one. All right. So now I know for sure that this is act one. You are sure and you're okay. Uh, going to act three is the only point of no return. Really? So wait, why did you guys tell me to do the mountain pass then before going uh, going up the elevator in Grimforge? Because of Lazel? You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. See, this is the part that anytime I see a screen like this, I, I get I get a little freaked out. Sunny day here. Yippee. Hope all is good across Zippon. So far, so good. Hello. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> good day to you, Steph. The elevator was a different part where than where you're going. Yeah, true. True. Okay. All right. So I can I can hit okay. I'm trusting you guys. I'm going to go check out uh, the crash or the crevice or whatever it is. What a crash is. I, I know I have a crash on Carlac. Does that count? Rosie Morn Monastery Trail. My coastal monastery. It is a coastal monastery. Well, sort of. I hear water. Maybe not really coastal. Whoa, look at that over there. Uh, okay. All right. Fresh yuck. Nailed it. Find a way into the Githyanki Kresh. Find the Githyanki Kresh's entrance. Okay. And then if I look at my quests. Travel through the Ender And that's still available. Perfect. Perfecto. So we have Free the Artist. Oscar left for Baldur's Gate. Who knows? Maybe we'll see him there. I, I, I'm I, excited to get to Baldur's Gate. The Grand Duke. We should look for the Githyanki Crash hidden within it. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, now I see what you guys mean about this taking maybe a little bit of time. Flaming Fist Helmet. Very welcome. You meet a very welcome stranger soon. I like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. Feel I'm like, but I did it. Did I loot every chest possible? Yeah, it's just sort of that like creeping feeling of did I miss something? The FOMO, you know. For me, I I don't feel like I need to. I need to loot every. Oh, these markings. Tissue script scratched in the ground, as I expected. A her hair color has really there at once. 
blowed up here. What does Tirsu script mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel, every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's come, let's get to the crash. How do I know I can trust your people? They did want to cut my head off earlier. You don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. Okay, fair enough. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. Okay. All right, let's go. Very well. You may lead. Thank you. I have been doing so the whole time. Far, the Appreciate it. Chance is lost. I'll make my way there alone. Oh wait, she will leave me? Hang on a second. Actually, we should look for the entrance. The Ethiopian warrior artifact secret. Okay, yeah, it doesn't say specifically. Trust Ursa, she's played this uh, 173,626 times. I do trust Ursa. Totally counts. Boogs, how you doing? It's a coast of something to be sure. Oh, a Mad Lib. We've never played a Mad Lib before. This is our first Mad Lib redeem. Can we do this at the end of stream? Yes, please remind me, Koro. Please remind me. I don't have a meeting, so we should be able to do that no problem at the end of the stream. But definitely remind me. Cameron! That way you don't have to break the game. I do appreciate that, Koro. Uh, and yeah, yeah, let's, let's definitely. Just remind me so I don't forget. Or somebody can remind me. Yeah, I would love to play Mad Libs with you guys. Civilian? There's a dead civilian. This looks like it could be the work of goblins. Well, it's on the outside of a cave. Hmm. There are tracks here. Do I have a good enough investigation to see what's going on? Let's be clear. Played Act 1 about 15 times now. I've gotten Act 2 about 3 times. Wait, really? So do you just start a new game? And you're like, ah, I gotta redo Act 1. I can do better. Uh, let's see. If we examine, does it tell us what killed them? It says they're dead. This creature is dead. Okay. That's not super helpful. What am I getting myself into over here? It is a goblin camp. Okay. Goblin camp. Which goblin camp, though? You're entering a different region. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So, no, this probably just connects back to... Okay. Yeah, never mind. Let's leave it, then. How's everyone's Tuesday? Oreganova. Doing pretty well. How about yourself? More things. I like making tasks. Fair enough. Fair enough. You don't have to complete Act, act 1 to do it. Listen, if you want to just practice with the jiggle physics, I mean, all you got to do is just the first, like, 10 minutes of the game. You're going to pull a Coleman? Lucy, you need to check that shipwreck out. Shipwreck? Was there one, like, off the coast? Something over here? I didn't see a shipwreck. I'll keep looking. The jiggling is high quality. So they patched in the, the dong jiggles after I created my tav. Um, which is kind of interesting. I warn you, I'm exceptionally well armed. Lady Esther? Exceptionally well armed? I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, you've been working out? I need a quick word. A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Huh. 
pull a Coleman? Would I mean, what do you mean by that? I'm not sure either. Wasn't Coleman trolling loots in Subnautica? Trolling me? Also played with mods. Had to roll back and redo games. I removed the mods. Ah, okay. You've never played Mad Libs before stuff? They're fun. Mm -hmm. Jiggle physics. Let me tell you, if you play with Ghost, make sure you have an endless supply of clothes for your camp companions because they'll be naked every single time. I could see that for sure, yeah. That was an example, Lutz. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I feel I, I hear what you mean now. Tav is isn't that short for like Avatar? Essentially. To be honest, I'm not sure. All I know is that um if you hover over your character, it'll say Tav. Supposed to be studying. How can I concentrate on biology when you talk about peeing physics? I did say dong jiggle. Yeah, yeah. They added in. They added in like like wiggly penises in the uh, character creation. Uh, with one of the updates, like I mean, seriously, we're talking days after I first started playing this game, and it's not like I start. I didn't adopt this game super early, you know. Did he lead me into a trap? Uh, in Subnautica, I don't think so. Dong jiggling sounds like homie hog chat content. It is. It happened to leak into the girly group chat. Dot, dot, dot. Tavatar, the, the last tar, tear bender. <laughs> Tav is the default name for the character, and many people didn't realize they could change the name, so they all started the game named Tav. Oh, really? Tavatar. Games without the wiggle worm ability are not for me. Not for me, you know? The game is very thirsty, Reganova. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to play this game not as, like, the horniest person that ever lived, but, you know, uh, like, I think a reasonable amount of horniness. If there's wiggly peens, they're also hanging breasts. I don't know if the breasts jiggle, actually. Okay, I'll shut it. <laughs> no, you're good, Kel. No need to shut it. Uh, looks like a temple to me, lady. Let's see, scalable architecture, good vantage points, looks empty. Perfect ambush spot. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude githyanki. Rude? How dare they? Rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your Chucky. charming companion would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Okay. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. An egg? And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You've had no romance, just one kiss. So PG. We, I mean, listen, we kissed and then the screen went black. I mean, want the naked spanky? Are breasts supposed to jiggle? Cries in tiny boobs. Could you play really thirsty games sometimes so I could see what it what that's about? Or flop when you get older. Can confirm, can confirm boobs jiggle cries and fat man. <laughs> Stop. You tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely Well, uh, look. It's just an egg. The Society of Brilliant Ask me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches raise the spawn in their tradition please do enlighten me what is this tradition the society believes a githyanki raised in a peaceful nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature I'm sure your friend would agree. A gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. The way she's saying this, oh my gosh, I'm surprised Lazel hasn't just like already ran her right through. Like, Uh, let's see. Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. Some things are in her blood. Only a fool would deny that. Ah, the drow saying. They used to think my people were inherently evil too, you know. Well, yes, but now we know better. 
Only some of you are bloodthirsty terrors. Well, that goes for every race, lady. But if you believe in this cause so strongly, why not help the society prove your point? They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated. Oh my gosh. Place. Just bring me. Yeah, you know, Ams, I'd probably like to not have this conversation. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to read it out loud. Produce an owl bear egg. Oh, I could trick her. Ooh, okay. That is interesting. Love that word, purloin. Hmm. I do have an owlbear egg. What? Well, what else would I do with it, though? We can trade stuff? Okay. Owlbear egg? Wait, where even is that egg? Is it in my items as, like, a quest item? You can see everybody's stuff here. Hmm. I wouldn't be able to sell it, right? Also, she has 850 gold. Arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. Oh, that's nice. Say there's something bad in the human part everyone has. No, I'm not saying that. I know you don't think so. It's a great word. I definitely know that word. Cacophony. Is this a... It is a quarterstaff. Okay. A war pick? What is, hang on a second. Inspect this. What is this? Revitalizing strike? Smash into a foe, wounding them and healing your own injuries. Interesting. Be good. Once per short rest. Can I safely make comments again? You can, Kel. Yeah. War pigs where? I love my war pigs in WoW. <laughs> Lazelle is given the stank face. She was, yeah. Yeah, for the record, uh, since Omen had mentioned it, I don't have a problem. You guys, you guys talk about whatever you want. I think sometimes we have a tendency to, uh, to, to prolong our conversations. We're like, I mean... I'm definitely, I mean, there's no point in me reading all of that out. You know, you're talking amongst each other. Um, and uh, it's totally irrelevant of me. So I try to sometimes do that. I try to read everything out loud, but then I also realize, like, sometimes you guys talk about some, some things that I have, like, nothing, zero, anything whatsoever to contribute to. Um, I know you're not offended by it. <laughs> it's just uncomfortable for me. Like, why... Why am I going to just read out conversation that you guys are having? Basically, a private conversation amongst yourself. Like, if I were in person and all of a sudden you guys are kind of talking amongst each other, like, yeah, you know, my boobs are this size, my boobs are this size. And I just go, all right, everybody, she's saying over here that her boobs are smaller than her boobs. All right, just so everybody knows. That's how it feels. You know what I mean? Some stuff is just uh, shinfo. Not everyone has cheeks that can clap. Okay. <laughs> like all boobs, small to massive. Same goes for buttocks. <laughs> the graceful cloth. You gain cat's grace. Increase your dexterity score by two to a maximum of 20. Nimble as a cat. You gain plus one dexterity uh, bonus to dexterity saving throws. Also increase your jump distance by 1.5. That's pretty cool. Luce is like, give me a break. Yes, please do give me a break. All right.
Periapt of wound closure? What is this? Is this a necklace or something? When downed, automatically stabilize at the start of the turn. Whenever you're healed, you restore the maximum number of possible hit points. What is this? Seems like it's something I can equip. I feel like I should buy that. So, Cora, how's it work? Anyway, Baldur's Gate, you know, goblins and whatnot. Yeah. That is so good. This sounds really good. Um, are, what is it, though? Is it a necklace? Look for a new job, then quit. Peachy will get upset. I have been for months. Channel's name is Kay's Daycare. Gloves of Cinder and Sizzle. Unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage. Unarmed as in not thrown. That could be decent too, though. It's a necklace, I think, since uh, it's comparing your other one. Oh, that's true. It is. It is doing the. Uh, okay. All right. Whenever you are healed, you restore the maximum number of possible hit points. That sounds incredible. Let's go ahead and add that. Um, and then the. Anything else? Should I buy these gloves of cinder and sizzle as well? I think I will. Just to have them. That might be good for somebody. I've considered making Carlac. I mean, Carlac's the sausage wielder right now, but considered making her uh, unarmed here. Cacophony could be pretty good for Gale. In other words, she's got some really good stuff, but I don't have an unlimited amount of money. But I do need to sell a lot of crap right now. If I do this, it's 1,620 gold. A lot of good stuff for monks. Uh, I would love to hear some thunder, but I have to wait for two to three months. Wait, why is that? Just you don't get any storms this time of year? Like none? All right, let's sell all these heavy things that I've been carrying around for no reason other than to sell. Um, oh, that's Carlax. Yeah, she can still sell all of the bows. We don't need to. We don't need those. We're gonna save the javelins. Those are my favorite weapons to throw. Uh, sell the swords, the war hammers, the incense can all get sold. Necklaces, agate, bloodstones, polished rings, ring of absolute force. The wearer bears the absolute's brand. They deal one additional thunder damage with thunder damage spells and attacks. I don't know how good that is. Since empty potion bottle. I don't know why we're carrying that around. Glass goblet. That's cool. Retort. Icy crystal? Hang on to that. Malachite. Nut buster. We can't get rid of our nut buster. That'd be silly. All right. Regular daggers. Uh, Where is the poo scraper? There's the poo scraper. We got to hang on to that. Snow and slush storms. Okay. No thunderstorms till it's warmer. The what wielder? Uh, the dual sausage wielder. Yeah, you heard you heard correctly, uh, clumsy. She she wields two sausages. It is true. The rumors are true. All right, I think that's good for Carlax stuff. For Spanky, it's a lot of extra crap here too. Flaming Fist Helmet. It is medium armor. Probably could have used it, but it's very basic. 
I should actually look at my inventory and see. I bet I have things that are worth equipping over other things that I'm already using. Painting of Smiling Maidens. Elegant Noble. Rags. Other random crap. Random oil lamp. Stuffed bear. Hang on to the stuffed bear. Could come in handy. Still carrying around Halson's pipe as well. Is he actually still encumbered? Meet themed barbarian build. What are these names? In my head, at least. Pure windstorms with slight rain. That's what strong arms are for. Holding loved ones to help them be okay. I know I'm not as amazing as the real Aristotle. Turbo meat? Looks like a sandwich from a dive bar. Yeah, the meat lover's special. Am I shift clicking? I'm not. I'm double clicking. Should I be shift clicking? I'm in uh, I'm in the barter mode rather than trade. I don't know how that uh, how much that changes things. But we almost got an even trade. That's my goal is just to do an even trade for these items. My hope. Uh, let's see. Necklaces, uncovered mysteries, detect thoughts. That could be good. Incense, silver ingots. Do what you're doing. I've been searching for what works for faster selling. I gotcha, yeah. I take loot shift clicking over Ursa's hoop posting from yesterday. Halson? Oh yeah, Halson. Oh yeah. You know, you know Halson. You know him. You know who that is. Alright, let's see. We got Lazelle's stuff now too. She's just carrying around a lot of heavy stuff. Githyanki half plate, 12 pounds each. She's already wearing Githyanki ha uh, half plate. I'll go ahead and sell those. This person is going to have so much stuff. I don't even know how they're going to walk out of here. Plastic bulb, onyx, pearl, peridot, and skull. All right, a couple daggers as well for good measure. Okay, I'm actually getting some money out of this now. And uh, my pants are significantly lighter now. That's pretty cool. We even sell a few more. She doesn't really need to carry around a pickaxe and all these other, like a hand axe. Sell that in. I'm going to hang on to the pickaxe. That's actually been helpful in breaking some stuff up. Pikes are... Are they thrown too? I don't know if they, if they, are they thrown? Two-handed extra reach. Probably can be thrown, right? Hide armor. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see this crap down here. Okay. So Spanky is still encumbered, though. Oh, because he's holding all of it. That's why. I was like, wait, why is he so encumbered? That's why. Okay. Balance offer. And uh, let's barter this. Nice. Cool. Bags of holding. What a man. Get it because shift and poop are similar? They are, yeah. Listen, Peachy, just listen. We don't speak of what happened yesterday. Bring it up what you want people to ask about it. Let it die. Um, I did hear that, uh, I mean, I got tagged in a, in a chat, but I didn't know what for. And I didn't investigate, if I'm being honest. I was kind of busy yesterday. Um, if I'm going to save, and what if I produce the owl bear egg? Is there a reason to not do this? Oh, you wonder. Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? No, it's an owlbear's. I just like it. <laughs> you don't want to, Luth? Uh, I need you to succeed in this role since I failed. Let's see. Nature deception. 
Ooh, okay, so I can tell her. Curves, the coloration, the size looks right to me. No, but this owlbear egg is worth much more, and it can be all... It can all be yours. Octi and Coleman were also tagged, but Octi deleted it so no one else would be forced to see it. It was that bad? Okay. I bet your employers won't know the difference. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the is this the the role you were saying I need to you want me to succeed in, Ursa? No, it's an owlbear's. I just like it. Either of them. All right. Of course not. It's from an owlbear, but I bet your employers won't know the difference. I need a twenty-one on this. Not ideal. Not ideal. 14. How many inspiration do I have? I only have one inspiration. A rapscallion I can have grudging respect for. A bare-faced liar, on the other hand. Such conduct is distasteful. Mm. Don't come back without the I right had no inspiration because my friends use them all. I did do a quick save. Let's see here. I have an idea. I have an idea. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Let's try charming her. 60%. Alright, so she should be charmed now. Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? Definitely. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, let's see. We can try a deception. Albert egg is worth much more. I really wish I could just convince her that it actually is a gith, a gith egg. But I don't want to do the negative one intelligence. We'll try deception. 21. Okay, is she not charmed? Her doesn't look like she's charmed. So I either need a 19. I need basically need a 19. Uh, well, the lowest I could go is what? A 16? Still have a chance? 18. Dang. We can try an inspiration. Not, it's not looking good. So, is she not charmed, or what? I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 or any other Baldur's Gate, so is there an option to turn off the chance of the action and just do it blindly? Uh, what do you mean? You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Hmm, what you suggest is revolting, and you need to die. Gwen, hello! Send that D20 to Dice Jail. It's been, that's been pretty rough. I had some really good rolls earlier. And now that I, and I didn't really need that high of a roll, but now that I do, this is happening. Okay, I tried charming her, and it seemed like it worked. She's saving all of these charms. There we go. Okay, so can... We can't make anything like that. Okay. So even if she's charmed, it has to be probably before the conversation starts, is my guess. Good morning, Luz. How you doing, Quinn? Stay percent when you're trying to decide what to do. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, to, to read into it. You can just click. It looks different to what I expected. Right. Screw it. Let's see. Are Maybe the sure nature check is lower. Different. It's not. It's still 21.
Okay, how's you? I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Yep, we're not getting it. We've not gotten it yet. I just really wanted this lady to be like, I found a gift egg, and then she takes it back, and they You'll raise it, and then the owlbear just murders just everybody. bring me an egg. But... I don't know. Maybe I'll hang on to that. Is I wonder if there's anything else I can do with the owlbear egg. I'm not getting involved in this. Pity. You'd have become rather rich had you the proper sense. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. All right. We can always try to come back later and convince her that the owlbear egg is is a good one. Uh, maybe with maybe we charm her before. We could try that. Yeah, let's try that real quick. Charm her before the conversation starts. Okay. No one back home will ever believe this. Will that Have change you given things? Any more thought to the retrieval of that gift yank here? You. It looks Let's see here. To what I expected. Are you sure that's a gift? The alberry egg is worth much more. It's not showing any charm. Like, <sighs> charmed her on the first try. I did, but it, it just doesn't seem to matter unless, unless it has to be Shadowheart. A rapscallion, I can have. Okay. Ready. Whatever it takes. Ah. <sighs> A friendly face. Oh, you know, look over there. Oh, British and rude. A cute okay, I'm trying to skip through this. We did all this I before. Was doing them a f Please. This is I'm sure your friend would have. They and steal one. I'm not. You'll be well compensated, of course. Okay, I don't have a choice in, in doing that. Has to be the person who charmed her to speak with her. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's the problem then. All right, I'll try that. Can she guidance? Can she? She can cast guidance on herself, right? Right or no? If not, does somebody else have charm? Can't afford to stay idle. All right, we'll try it. Two tries. Three tries. Four times a charm. All right. You know, we'll skip through there. this. We already did oh, this convo. Right. Cute, this is the last time I'm I trying it, though. This, I'm sure you're. F I'm not. You'll be well competent. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith, eh? Okay. I guess we got to go nature. The curves, the coloration, the size looks right to me. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm not getting any sort of bonus from charming here. Nothing. All right. Well, we tried. We tried. I'm uh, I'm gonna give up on that one for now. Maybe we can bring a Starian on later. All right. Never a dull moment. Let's go on get now. Should mind my step. We look at this map. Yes. The crush is this way. Scar, hello. Yeah, very strange, right? That's what I was thinking too. I thought it should help, but I wasn't getting any benefit whatsoever from that. Cable car wheel. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. Maybe. I have to pass a strength check. Can I not do it? Dang it. I would have let Carlac do this if I knew I was going to have to pass a strength check to turn this. Hopefully it's fine. We failed. Okay. All right. Damn. Completely stuck. I wonder when it was used last. Let Carlac fix it. Come on. Here we go. Walked 10 miles yesterday. I'm so worn out. Wow. Dang. 
uh, out and about? Or are we on a treadmill? Or how'd you do? How'd you get that much? Uh, that many steps in? Thought I gave you advantage, but maybe it's on persuasion only. Yeah, maybe. Could be. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Right. Might have to turn that one too. We'll have Carlyk do that one just in case. Hey guys. No, stop! How did Lazelle not make it on here? I don't understand their movements at all. Oh gosh, why? Fine. First, purify the tadpole. Then, a little lunch. Let's go. Start on the edge. Yeah, she she barely made it on, but then freaking uh, Lazelle just stands there. Maybe we can send it back. Nope. Okay. Send her back. There's some local businesses that uh, don't have job postings online. Oh wow. Okay. Do you feel like? Uh, do you feel like it helped? Hopefully it did. Enough waiting. Yeah, you're the one who is waiting. Boro! Uh, okay. I think the crash is right there, so I'm I'm pretty much here. And these things have stayed interesting. Right? Let's see, if we look at the map, we just kind of go around uh, this way. And we should be on our way over there to the crash. Okay. Right? Sure seems that way. If not over, then through. Looks like your companion has ADHD or song stuck in their head. Was over there stimming to something or another? Was it, um... Was it Carlac here? She does dance sometimes. With the sausages on her back. Oh, look, a shovel. Mm, maybe I need more pockets. I don't know why I keep picking up shovels. Here's the waypoint. Had I just walked around here, I could have teleported Lazel, but that's all right. It was Carla. Yeah, she dances quite a bit. If she, uh, if she sits still, she'll start dancing. Okay, these are already showing up as enemies on my screen, so that's not good. And the game just auto-saves. Okay, I thought Lazel was maybe gonna... We switch to Lazel. I crave blood. They still show as enemies here. Mommy, Mommy Carlyx got the schmoofs. Uh, it did not. I don't own a car, so I usually walk everywhere I go. That's Mega Scar. Hopefully, they appreciate your dedication and commitment. Onward. I do still have a tadpole to use. I haven't done that. Maybe I should do it. So that's progress. Okay. Oh, there's another one over here too. Cole the Week. I did like. I added that one most recently. Uh, these ones are locked. Shield of Thralls. I can't do that. I could transfuse health. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal the target for the same amount. Could be pretty good. Uh, first attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. That could also be good. Passive feature. There's a charm here. Okay. Channel the dark allure of the tadpole to charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. Force tunnel. Charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Nine meters away. That's so, okay. That makes me kind of like a, a vanguard there. Biotic vanguard. Experience with the charm. It only works on the young. Adults don't fall for it. Repulsor. Push anything and anyone back six meters. Strength save. On save targets still take half damage. That could also be good. I like to push people off the ledge. Okay, 
Okay. Otherwise, I could look at something like this. Perilous Stakes. Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting the target 10 temporary hit points. Stage Fright? Targets have disadvantage on attack rolls, and they take 2 to 12 psychic damage each time they miss. Ooh. Targets overcome their Stage Fright early when they succeed in attack roll. I can't do that one yet, but that one sounds good. Once per turn, you make an attack roll. The attack reduces that target's corresponding ability by 1. The reduced ability score cannot be decreased lower than 1. Okay. Hmm. Luck of the Far Realms. Once per long rest, you can change a successful attack roll against the foe into a crit hit. Okay, those are pretty good. Force Tunnel would be nice. Um, I can do favorable beginnings. First attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. Should be solid. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. That's an action. That one is not. I like the ones that are passive. Concentrated Blast is an action. Psionic Backlash. I've been loving that one. That's been great. Uh, Cold the Week is also pretty great. Repulsor. Displace. Creature suffering falling damage because of your actions take an additional 1 to 8 psychic damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, Force Tunnel and then maybe that. I think I'm going to go that route. Yeah. Because eventually I'll be able to get Repulsor, Displace. Yeah. Okay. That's where we're going. All right. Should I put Lazel in front here and just have everybody hold back for a sec? There's some gift. Oh, it already triggered. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. One of them was wearing a talisman no, of the no, absolute. No, yeah, right there. No, going in there. I won't. Oh, they're gonna die. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now. The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Okay. Uh. So that means they're just going to start attacking, huh? Anything of use? So the Githyanki aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Wait. Could be a good thing? Uh, oh, looks like I could maybe sneak in over here. We like that? What's in here? Three torches. Party gained 95 experience for what reason? Oh, they just walked right in. Okay. Cobalt looter? What is this? I have never seen one of these before. Okay. There's another one. Cobalt looter there. Cobalt looter there. 
lots of kobolds in here. Uh, okay. Spanky is the best sneaky guy in the party. Just on a few. I don't need any attention right now. This is interesting. I... Should I just try to kill everybody? They don't have that much health. All right, let's try to save it. I don't know <laughs> what to do here. Hope your soul is in good hands. Did a crit hit, but uh, it wasn't enough. Okay, they're all surprised. A crit hit is still not enough to do 12 damage. It did seven. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna do it. Oh, okay. We're gonna try to go in the front door. Maybe the gift will accept us because uh, Lazel's with us. I don't know. That seems silly to me. Meeting today? No meetings today. Very well. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Uncertainty in the artifact. Your curiosity yes. is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. Whoa. Really? They're Prayer hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Do they know I have it, though? Prayer to Lathander. Uh, well... The narrator says I should not go in here. And now, of course, it makes me want to go in here. Lockpicking's impossible. Oh, so that is the only way in. Son of a gun. All right, so I guess I do need to... Well, I don't have to kill all the uh, the kobolds. I have to at least get by them, though. Wasn't the narrator? Oh, was that my, uh, my guardian angel? All right. Well... Time to press ahead. I don't know if I want to try to sneak, sneak by everybody. I'm going to... I wouldn't get all the uh, experience. I wonder how much damage they can do. Hard to see anything in here. Um, I think we could probably... Well, I don't know if we are going to be able to sneak by anyway. Your Smexy Guardian. So maybe I should have somebody else do a sneak attack instead. This Githyanki Greatsword does 7 to 20 damage. So maybe that's the way to go. Yeah. Okay, that worked out well. That one worked out well. Okay. Wait, so this one really can't... Are they drunk or something? What? What is... Oh, they are drunk. Okay, I'm like, why are they not able to do much? How do you not see somebody uh, if they die right here? But it seems like they might not. All right. Let's try this. Shadows. 
Ooh, we lost we lost the check. Some of them are surprised, but not all of them. Okay. We'll group back up. Kobolds are so funny. Merlin, welcome back in. They, uh, I've never met a kobold before. This is new to me. They are all drunk, which is kind of interesting. Oh, wait, some people are still hidden. And by some people, I mean Shadow Hardis is hidden. My faith protects me. Let's get her out. Okay, she might be able to help surprise people later. Another fight. Let's go. All right. If we go over here. At the ready. Spanky can do a couple attacks. 85%. Get that one there. Okay. We got that one. And then a bonus action. Maybe, let's see. Did you miss the commentary? Wait, which commentary? Could do a click heels and try to run. We'd be able to go only about seven meters. I don't know how useful that'll be. Uh, there is a lot of alcohol on the ground, which kind of worries me. Would one of them light it up? They're drunk. They're not in the right frame of mind. These guys don't have very much health, but I am a little bit worried that they're going to do a lot of damage. Never fought one before. It's in your log. Uh, I don't remember how to get to the dialogue log. Is it in here? No. I don't remember where the dialogue bit is on this. There's the combat log. I'll show you my log. Him up. All right. Well, it'll be all right. We'll have Karlak, uh Let's see. Can she? She could get up to a little bit higher. Do we have a rage? Hmm. Well, let's just have her throw stuff like we always do. Tactical. Should be all right. Uh, let's have her throw a javelin over here. 90% chance to hit. Good idea, Dead. Have her throw another javelin over here. Dead. And then, uh, let's see. Can she do... Those are bonus and regular action. Okay. They added dialogue for this part. Never mind, it's unimportant. Just me or does your tab say more now than they did prior to the last big update? I'm not sure. Sure, to be honest. Let's get her up here. Can't quite make it over there. Move her at least a little bit off the ladder. Okay. And her turn. Spanky could not make it to a ladder. Let's just move him kind of in that direction so he'll be ready next turn. Victory awaits. Lazel. And we we could do a misty step once per long rest. Charity did one action. We do have superiority die as well. Back an enemy on a hit, you can use force maneuver to on an ally increasing their movement speed. Uh, let's see. Pushing attack. Maneuvering attack and pushing attack. Okay. Push your target back four and a half meters. We'll save those. Let's do a... Uh, maybe we do a Misty Step. I should be able to attack this Kobold Inventor. Invenavia. All right. There we go. Got him pretty good. <laughs> and maybe we go over here. Taking position. Only I still had that. What kind of cantrip does she have? She has a mage hand and misty set. Okay. Wait, did I? The once per long rest. Huh. Just me. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want to see that if it is what I think you mean. Oh, the log. <laughs> 
interesting that these ones didn't get surprised. Wait, she has Wrath now? Okay, so they don't do a tremendous amount of damage. Whoa! That was a repost? Holy crap! Retaliate with a formidable strike when a creature misses you with a melee attack. Is and that's one is that one of my is that one of my superiority die? It was, yeah, because I had four. Okay. That's awesome. I recommend quick save and then trying to use some fire in that room. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Uh, I could try, Mersa. I sure could. Also, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Lazel, or sorry, not Lazel, but maybe, uh... Let's see. This person, they are in, in, in some alcohol. I see a way. Let's see if we can get her over there. Shadowheart doesn't yet, hasn't yet had a turn. She's successful on the hides. Oh, she can't go. Okay, she can't go over there, though. No, oh, she's in the battle. Oh, well. All right. I was going to try to have her cast, like, a firebolt. Mersa! Mersa, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Ouch. All right. Uh, Spanky, let's see. Is... Karlak is standing in some alcohol. But maybe I could throw some fire over there? Let's see. Let's do a click heals. Click heals to get over here. What path lies before me? Professor! You said but? I did? Cheers. Welcome in. Cheers to you. Uh, appreciate that. Reese of 34 months. My goodness. Gramishka? Who is Gramishka? Also, why do they keep having revealed and invisible and whatnot? I don't know where that's at. Shouldn't Karlak automatically be setting this place on fire? You might think so, yeah. Where Gramishka is, but not in this room, it seems. We have three scouts and a looter. All right. We can probably kill that one. I am kind of curious about uh about the fire there. Is there a good way to... I might have a fire arrow. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's try it. We just shoot it over here or maybe hit the barrel. <laughs> you don't even have to hit anything good. You just have to... You just have to, uh, you know be in the vicinity. Whoa. Oh, the psionic backlash. Or call the weak, I should say. The so Spanky got a couple kills there. Pretty good. Carlac, let's see if you... You might be able to kill somebody just by pushing them off over here. A nice little push here. 100% chance that you're going to knock them off. Only one damage, though. Dang. But they are right there next to Shadowheart. Yeah, they don't have very much health. That's kind of a problem for them. Bit of a problem. Right. She might be in fire. Yeah. But everybody's dead. Okay. Well, that was cool. Cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is so bad. Uh, everybody get out. Get out quick. We're on fire. Why are you guys not coming over here? Okay, it stopped. It stopped burning. I was like, I just need to get out of here before this place explodes. You'll be fine. You see L St. Pierre uh, win the 3000 meter indoor world championship. That race was crazy good. I did not see that one. I've been watching some of the races from the, the weekend though. Um, I didn't see that one. I'll have to add that to the list. 34 months is way too long. Funny you should say that. Is that what happened there? 
My tab was on fire and ran through this room and blew it up. Yeah, that's what I was afraid. I was like, we need to get out of here ASAP because everybody's just going to all of a sudden blow this place up. Wait. There was a belch that came from right here. in the world there's a kobold hiding in the fire wine barrel what in the heck we had a crit miss we need no water let that mother burn how many of them are going to be in these barrels There's another barrel over here. There's another barrel right there. What in the heck? Are they in these dang things? What if he's hiding or happily stuck in a drunken stupor? I'm not sure either. Let's bring everybody back together and... I guess I'll... Yeah, there's another one in that one! Nobody in that. You've made a grave mistake. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Wow. Okay, there's one more barrel over here. Yep, there's somebody in that one too. She was nails came from fourth place on the last lap amazing kick she just had a, a baby one year ago dang the cow yeah i'm definitely gonna watch that race then too funny these guys are funny inside pick those up and sold them with them inside oh my gosh whoever bought them's in for a surprise let's have a look not put there yet it's been a long day I'll need to rest soon. You will? Her, and her husband owned a dairy farm, farm in Vermont. Her Instagram is a lot of cows. Ceremonial mace. Kobold journal. Read this real quick. Collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds in varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves and some on each other. The final pages over feature more varied subjects, a soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. There's another- wait, what is this? This is Grimishka? Magic, allergy, and ambushing. What in the world? I thought Grimishka was a name, but it's a creature. Okay, they're, they're up on like the next level. All right, do this again. It's too funny. Well enough, my Instagram is a lot of cows. I do not live on a dairy farm. Oh, there was some alchemist fire in that one. Such good weapons, I didn't think of that. I have been carrying around a couple smoke powder barrels this game. All right. I think I've looted all of them now. Oh, shoot. I forgot to pick up Carlac's weapons. She threw a couple. There's a javelin over there. All right. Carlac to pick these up real quick. What's this? Javelin there, javelin over here, javelin there. I think she threw three. I do love throwing javelins. I don't I don't have anything to really compare it to, but it seems like they seems like they do more damage for some reason. I like the Instagram posts that have the have cows as big puppies. Cows are very cute. Me? Very cute. 
All right. Okay, we're going to be on the other side of this uh, area now. I wonder if I'll get to see those cats at a certain point. Uh, for now, let's do a short rest. Fresh. Let's get going. And we're going to save it here. We're at 69 hours. Nice. My goodness. Selling kobolds and barrels and hidden pet above Luz's head. All right, friends, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this button here. Let's, uh, let's head to the tavern. Mm. Love a Highland cow as a pet. They're so cute. Thanks for hanging out, Ursa, and everybody else. Appreciate you all. Um... Yeah, friends, we'll we'll try to see. I don't know how how long this crash is gonna take, but my hope is, my goal, I would say, is to get to Act Two sometime Thursday. I would really love to be in Act Two. So, thank you, Kirk, for hanging out. My first one in England was in love ever since. Oh, uh, friends, let me got some thank yous, and then I do got to get to work. Um, appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Had a great time as always playing some Baldur's Gate Three. Uh, Modern Merlin, thank you so much for the follow. Professor EXP, thank you for the sub. The mod squad on the day was Kirk. Uh, oh, Chaotic was lurking. Uh, and Coleman, we also had Lady Iron around. And our Discord subs, Book K, Coleman, Wes, Iron, Phil, Nidalicious, Peachy, Spooky, and Ursa. Appreciate you for supporting over there, too. Thanks for another great stream, Luke. Hope everyone has the best day. I hope you have the best day, Blue. You are important, you are enough, you matter. Agreed, Omina. Friends, uh, have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow, a.k.a. Wednesday, with more Baldur's Gate 3. Until then, as always, please take care of yourselves and others. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.